<laughs> Moo. I'm so excited about this unboxing. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kristen and I am ready to unbox this cow pin. This fountain pen was introduced to me through Simone's Discord server. And the first reaction that some people had was that it looked like, I guess, cowhide. But I actually really liked it, so I got it. I purchased this one directly from Leonardo Officina Italiana. Uh, it doesn't say, it doesn't have any, any details on it, but I am hoping, I am really hoping that they remembered my request. So this is the Leonardo Momento Zero. I believe it's the Nuvola finish. Nuvola, Nuvola. I ordered it with gold trim, but after having seen additional photos of the pins, I preferred the look of this pin with rose gold trim. I requested the change and they said that they will accommodate my request. So let's hope that I'm gonna have rose gold when I open this box. <clears throat> See, I love how they do that. I don't really, but hey, here it is. Here it is. Yes, I am prolonging the inevitable. Beautiful work. Let's see. Yes. Yes. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, this looks so good. This looks so good. Okay. Earlier today, we were having a conversation on Simone's Discord. If you are not part of Simone's Discord, please join the Discord. We have some great conversations there. This resin looks beautiful. It is like so perfectly balanced. There's not too much cream. There's not too much blue and the rose gold just matches so well. Okay, let me go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah. Let me move, move out of the way. <laughs> oh, I like this. I Ooh, and it feels so good. I really love. I love it when fountain pens are very well polished. This is beautiful. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I love these colors together. Oh my gosh. Yep. And I got this with a 14 karat gold medium nib. Look at how this thing looks. I can't get over this. This pen looks and feels great. I love how the section feels. Like it tapers down, there is no flare at the end, but it just rests, like the pads of my fingers rest right there on that little hump. And so that is really comfortable for my hands, for my fingers. Doesn't have to post, but it can. I probably won't. Look at it, look. oh, oh, look at this nib. This is a beautiful 14 karat rose gold medium nib. This is so nice. And this is the Momento Zero, which means it comes with a converter. So it is not a piston fill pin. It's a Leonardo branded converter right there. So it looks really nice. That feels really good too. I love how they have this rose gold accent as well. Oh, I just can't stop staring at this. I love these colors. For Leonardo Officina Italiana, these colors are supposed to symbolize like a cloudy or a beautiful blue sky with these fluffy clouds. And this also brings some significance to me because I grew up in Georgia. I currently live in California. One of the things that I really miss about Georgia was the clouds. I live in the Bay Area and it is on most days, very sunny, very few clouds, if any clouds. I'm looking out the window right now, there are absolutely no clouds in the sky. I miss seeing those big, happy, fluffy white clouds in Georgia. And so this just has like that extra little bit of specialness for me. All right, enough of that. Let me bring over my other Leonardo fountain pens. This is the Memento Magico, and this is the Memento Zero. They are pretty close in size. Yeah, the Memento Magico is actually longer than the Memento Zero. Going from the shortest to the tallest fountain pen, this is the shortest, the Leonardo Memento Zero, the Leonardo Memento Magico, Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0, Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, Leonardo, do they call this one a Memento Zero Grande as well? This is Nuvola Resin. This is Mila Fiori, Jonathan Brooks, uh, Primary Manipulation 1. This is the matte finish. This is the Jonathan Brooks Mother of Pearl, and this is the Pura gray anthracite. Uh, someone requested a size comparison between this Momento Zero Grande and an Aurora fountain pen. Take this one out and put the little old Aurora right
right there next to it. So it is dwarfed by these Leonardo fountain pens. So now let's take a look at this Leonardo next to some of my currently inked fountain pens. Before we get there, let me bring these back over and see what these fountain pens look like uncapped and posted. Wait. So if I do that, I can actually, I think I can feel, okay, it looks like it's a screw and converter. I'm just trying to make sure that there's like no wiggling. Okay, I don't know. I think I was hearing some rattling while I was moving the fountain pen. Oh, okay. So if I tap it, you can actually hear the converter hitting the body of the pen. Huh, something new for these Leonardo pens. Okay, so uncapping the pen. Let's see some size comparisons here. And also a comparison of the sections because quite a few of these feel a little different, look and feel a little bit different. Here we are with the Leonardo fountain pens uncapped. They're all really nice in my hands, unposted. I would be very comfortable holding any of these fountain pens. Since this is the shortest, I would still hold this one unposted. So taking a look at these two, you can see the sections are a bit different. There's a slight flare out at the end of the section here, but there's just no taper, no flare, nothing. It's completely parallel or the sides of the barrel are completely cylindrical. There's no flare at all, but it doesn't make it any less comfortable to use and to hold. The threads stick out a little bit more. They're a little bit more noticeable, a bit taller on the section of the Magico than they are on the Momento Zero. Let's take a look at this one. There's a slight flare out at the end of this section. It might be a bit difficult to see. Yeah, there's a little bit of ink going on here. There's a very, very subtle flare at the very edge of the section. But with these two Leonardo Momento Zero Grande fountain pens, there is no flare. There is a, a metal ring at the end. The general shape of these sections is pretty consistent. The threads on this one are a little bit closer to the nib than they are here. There's a little bit more space between the edge of the section and where the threads begin on the Momento Zero Grande models, but it's like right there just past the flare on the Momento Zero. I will post them just, I'll post this one to kind of show you how long they become, but I would not really post any of them. They're quite long. Yeah, that's just long enough. Okay, so now let's take a look at these fountain pens side by side. This is the Leonardo Momento Zero in the Nuvola finish with rose gold trim next to my October currently inked fountain pens. It's a relatively tall pen. It's very comparable in height to the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Pelican M800. Oh, they look so good. I love the warmth of these fountain pens. It just looks so nice. Here it is next to the Pilot Custom 823. So it's definitely shorter than the Pilot Custom 823. Look at these soft blues. I just love the soft blues. I love blues in general, I guess. Comparison between the Twisby Eco. So they're about the same height here. Oh, let's take a, make a comparison between the rose gold and the, um, the two rose golds. So this is rose gold trim on the Leonardo, and this is the bronze trim on the Twisby Eco. This rose gold trim is pretty comparable, pretty similar, but the rose gold on the Leonardo seems to be a little bit more pink than the Twisby's rose gold. So let's take a look at the two nibs. Oh, so these are the two nibs side by side. I really, I really do like this rose gold hardware. They just look so nice. I am really happy with the rose gold trim on this Leonardo Momento Zero. It matches, it goes so well with the brown border in this resin. I love the resin. It is so wonderfully balanced. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> if you can't tell already, I'm very happy with this fountain pen. Let me go ahead and put my currently inked pens off to the side again. And let's see if I can find some good fountain pen inks to go with this beautiful pen. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, why not? Mmm, Oyster Hour would be really nice in here. These are kind of nice. These are actually pretty nice. I don't know if I would do an orange. You actually, you absolutely could do an orange or a reddish color to kind of give it a little bit more warmth. I would not be opposed to that, especially since I have the rose gold trim warming up this blue. Alice Red looks nice with this. Mmm, I could do that too. To kind of pull out some of the brown in the resin, I could absolutely do a brown color or even like diamond ancient copper. That's beautiful too. That's nice. Praline frosting, but I'm running out of that. 
That's cool. Yes. It would be really nice to have like a really deep dark brown in here. To have such a light and airy looking fountain pen. And it writes something dark like Georgia. See? Yes. This would be it. This would be it. My cow pen, country cows and fluffy clouds in the sky with my Georgia ink. That right there. There's my down home pen and ink pairing. If I ever feel like I want a little slice of home when I'm journaling, I, I could do this. That's nice. Thank you, child. Mm-hmm. All of these brownish inks. Lovely. Cool. I could do Yule Log. So a nice shimmery ink like this. I love it. Oh, wow. Wow. What? A th what? Wow. I didn't even consider that because it has both brown and blue in here. Look at that brown and blue in this pen. I think that would be a lovely match as well. I think I'm going to try this first. I'm going to have this pen inked up with Diamond Winter Spice at some point. So yeah, Dark Energy. SL9 is nice. An airy pen with an airy shade of ink would be cool. Khaki Black is lovely with this one. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Wow, motor oil. Look at these. If I wanted to go towards that rose gold, I think some of these might be some pretty cool pairings. Inkabara number 514, brown pink, looks great next to it. I like that with the, with the rose gold trim. Toilet Marth warm as well. Oh, that's light. I mean, if you want to be bold, go bold. That would actually be pretty cool as well. But I really love how this could look with Dimine Winter Spice. I'm really looking forward to this combination. Oh, that's good. That's good. Would I enjoy any of these colors? Not quite as much as I would the others. Palador Suzuki Inaho, it might be a bit too gold for this actually. Minori, I, I don't know if I would actually want a green in here. Let's see. These would be really good. Zaza. Giant blue, Parker Quink blue black is nice. Diamond indigo maybe, yeah. It makes the blue in the pen look a bit cooler to have something like this in the pen. Silent Night would be gorgeous. Yes. Chicago is lovely. Mm-hmm. There are so many light blues that would work so well in this pen. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Stroke of Midnight. It's not bad. So I'm going to industry my time. Colorverse Iris Nebula. Fuyu Shogun. That's a nice one too. I like that one. Octopus Fluids Pebble Stone. I think that's everything for the unboxing of this fountain pen. I look forward to using it. Let me do a dry writing sample. Make sure it just feels good. Oh, yep. So it feels a bit dry or much more feedback going up than it does coming down. I think that is just so interesting how fountain pens work. This feels great in my hands. The nib feels wonderful on the paper. Just look at how balanced everything is. There's not too much cream, not too much blue. And the brown in this resin is just, oh. I can't stop looking at it, can't stop holding it. Like, yes, ooh, yep, yep. I'm happy right here. They both feel good. This is a test. Would I sit and hold this one just as I would hold this one? Absolutely, yes. I'm so happy with this purchase. I am very happy with the Leonardo Officina Italiana brand. I love each and every fountain pen that I have purchased under this brand. And this is just going to be one of those very special pens in my collection, just because it has some significance to me. It reminds me of the ties that I have to the state of Georgia and those who still live there. And it reminds me that I also have new friends that I've connected with here in the Bay Area and on Discord. So yeah, very special pen for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.